is Latest Facebook Marketing all about? Hey there, everyone. Welcome to Latest Facebook Marketing, this year's ultimate Facebook marketing training program. We are more than glad to have you on board and congratulate you on your decision to learn from the best. Facebook is the top social platform for brands and businesses, and Facebook marketing is vital for your growth strategy. Yet, it can be difficult to keep up with the competition and the changes that the platform constantly goes through. So, if you want to learn an optimized, streamlined, foolproof method to outdo whatever your competition is doing, then latest Facebook marketing is the training for you. If you're new to Facebook marketing, you'll be glad to know that we're starting from the basics. And if you're not, then this is a great opportunity to get a fresh take. Let's get started. What is Facebook marketing? Facebook marketing is the use of Facebook as digital marketing channel. More specifically, it is the use of the Facebook platforms and its features to promote your brand, your business, and your products to engage your audience, to collect leads, to communicate with potential customers, to build awareness, to generate traffic, and to drive sales. Facebook is a marketing-friendly platform with a business-oriented environment where you can build a presence for your business by providing value through content, conversations, and entertainment. You can use Facebook for marketing at no cost, and your success comes down to the strategies that you apply and the time that you put into it. How does it work? Facebook marketing works primarily by building a social presence for your brand that users can interact with. This means you're going to create a profile for your business the same you would create a profile for yourself. In fact, the Facebook marketing mindset is similar to the personal brand mindset. You create a page for your business that people can like or follow, where you are going to publish posts that sound casual and engaging to make it easier for people to interact with your brand. Once you establish a presence and build a following, you're going to raise awareness about your products, services, and offers by curating branded content from your website or other content channel. Right after, you can start promoting your stuff a little more aggressively through contests and by sharing promotions such as discounts to get your audience interested in your stuff. Then, you can start using Facebook features for businesses, such as Facebook ads and Facebook remarketing. Why should you consider Facebook for marketing? Facebook should no doubt be a part of your digital marketing arsenal. The most obvious reason why you should consider it is exposure. Facebook is still the most visited, most active social media site that exists, with over a billion active users a month. This means that finding the perfect audience for your business is easier on Facebook. Facebook provides you with plenty of tools to engage your audience, including business pages, groups, chat, live video, and multimedia posts. Facebook also gives you all the flexibility you need to promote your brand and to send traffic from your pages and groups to your website. Facebook also lets you cross-promote content to Instagram, and it lets you integrate lead capturing functions such as lead capture shortcuts on your pages. Plus, Facebook has what is perhaps the second largest and most cost-effective advertising platform on the Internet. What benefits can latest Facebook marketing bring for your business? With latest Facebook marketing, you will learn all the steps involved in building a presence for your business on Facebook the right way. Here, you'll also learn the latest marketing tactics that work on Facebook and proven strategies with an amazing track record of generating results and profits for businesses in any niche. Latest Facebook marketing also shows you the correct way of setting up paid campaigns on Facebook for maximum results and maximum return on investment so every dollar your business puts into paid ads goes back to your balance. Furthermore, with latest Facebook marketing, you'll learn how to create long-term brand loyalty and repeating customers at a fraction of the cost you'll pay if you hired an agency, all by learning how to do it yourself. What's the future for Facebook marketing? The future of Facebook marketing is more automated and enhanced by novel technologies like virtual reality, augmented reality, and 360 videos. Facebook's idea is to make it easier for customers in the platform to experience the products and services that are promoted by businesses there. You can also have a taste of the future of Facebook marketing today by trying out stories and chatbots. Yet these features are in their very infancy, but they're worth keeping an eye on. So, are you ready to start your latest Facebook marketing journey? Then allow us to grab you by the hand so we can teach you all that will lead you to your Facebook marketing success. Creating a Facebook page to promote your business. Hey there, everyone. Let's start at the very beginning of your latest Facebook marketing journey. Creating a Facebook page to promote your business. 
This is a very important step that you can't afford to half bake because a Facebook page for your business is the channel that you are going to use to build your presence and grow your audience. Having a Facebook page also makes it easier for you to set up advertising campaigns and capturing email leads on the platform. Getting started. Creating a Facebook page for your business is free, and all you need is a Facebook account and your business info at hand. To get started, simply log into your Facebook account, click on the Create tab in the top bar menu, and then click on the Page option. Next, click on the Get Started button in the Business or Brand section. Customizing and creating your page. Now you are going to enter the name of your brand or business into the page name field. Now, type the keyword that best describes your niche into the category field. Select a category from the results and then click on Continue. Awesome job! Now it is time to start customizing the page. First, click on Upload a Profile Picture to add a profile photo to your Facebook page. Next, click on the Upload a Cover Photo button to upload a cover photo to make your Facebook page much more attractive. A great job so far. Now it is time to add a contact CTA button and your business information to your Facebook page. To add the CTA button, click on Add a button and then click on the Contact You drop down icon. Now you're going to select the contact method you want to integrate with your page. The options include Contact Us, Send a Message, Call Now, Sign Up, and Send an Email. Your choice will depend on how you want to be contacted, and each option allows you to integrate a different method. For this example, we're going to select Send Message. This method allows users to send a message directly from their Facebook accounts using Messenger. So, select your contact method and click on Next. In the following window, you simply have to select the service users will use to contact you, and then to click on Finish. You can start building your page's audience by sending invites to your Facebook friends in the Invite Your Friends to Like Your Page section. All right, now it is time to add your page info. To do this, click on the Edit Page Info tab on top. Start by adding your About info into the Description field and click on Save Changes. Okay, now you're going to move to the Contact section to add your contact information. First, add your phone number. Then, add your website and then add your email address. Remember to click on Save Changes to save your contact info. Now move to the Location section and enter your address. In case your business doesn't have a physical address, simply uncheck the Has a Street Address option. Or in case that you enter your business registration address but don't take store visits, uncheck the Customers Visit My Business at My Street address. This is the setting you'll choose if your business is online only. Okay, so click on Save Changes and move to the Hours section. Here you're going to select the open hours that you'll show on your page. If you have a physical store or business that customers can visit, select Open on Selected Hours, then select your open days and times below. If your business is 24 hours or always online, you can select Always Open. Now, if you're online only and don't take live orders or consultations, select No Available Hours. You can click on Save Changes after selecting your hours. You can enter additional information in the More section. Let's start with the Impressum field, where you have to add a declaration of business ownership if you reside in a country where it is required by law. In the Products field, you can add the names of products and services that you sell. Lastly, in the Privacy Policy field, you can add your privacy policy in terms of service. This is especially useful when you take customer information on your page or when you contact your page followers. Man, this is it, fellas. You just created your Facebook channel and you are ready to get your latest Facebook marketing going, so don't miss the following lesson. Creating Optimized Facebook Marketing Posts Hey there, everybody. Facebook pages are much more than virtual billboards. They're basically social profiles for brands, companies, and businesses, and they give you all the tools you need to interact with your audience. The primary and most basic tool for interaction is Facebook posting. With Facebook posts, you can establish thought leadership by engaging with users through comments, images, videos, and curated content. But Facebook posting can be ineffective if not done right, and in this lesson, 
we're going to teach you how to compose optimized Facebook posts that reach more people and generate more engagement. Creating and composing a Facebook marketing post. To create a post on Facebook, you have to start by going to your page and clicking on the Write a Post field on top of the page timeline. Here's where you are going to compose your marketing posts. Now, the secret to creating an effective marketing post is to compose the right structure. Start with a headline. The post headline is a one-line description of the content in your post. Think of it as a blog post title. You have to include an actionable phrase or word, such as read or watch, or you won't believe, or information that makes the user stop to read the headline. Now, you're going to compose the post copy below. This is going to depend on the content that you are going to share. In general, your post copy is going to be a brief summary of the content that you are going to share. Now, a little known secret to increase your reach is to use keywords in your post as hashtags. Simply identify the keywords in your post text and type a hashtag symbol right before them. This will transform them into hashtags that make your post discoverable in Facebook searches. Adding media and content. Now you are going to insert the media or content that you are going to share into your post. If you are going to share an image or video, you will simply have to click on the photo or video button to upload your media. This is crucial because text-only posts don't generate as much engagement as image or video posts. The type of media that generates the most engagement on Facebook are infographics, short videos, and images, so make sure to always include them in your posts. For this example, we are going to share a blog post from our website. When you insert a link into a Facebook post, Facebook will fetch a preview that includes the feature image from the URL into your post. A word of warning, if you're going to post a video, make sure to upload it directly to the post using the photo video button instead of sharing it from an outside link. If you share a video from an outside source, the Facebook algorithm basically ignores it and won't push it to the timeline of other users. It will only be visible to users that visit your timeline. Okay. So let's proceed with the example. To insert a link, simply paste the URL below your post text. Once it fetches the preview and inserts the clickable link, you simply have to delete the text URL you pasted. Publishing a post. You can see how your post is going to look in the timeline by clicking on the preview button. In the preview window, you can see a desktop preview and a mobile preview. Once you are ready to publish your post, click on the share now button. And that's it. This is how you are going to compose your Facebook post from now on to get the most engagement and the best results possible. Next up, we're going to show you how to easily boost the reach of your newly published post, so stay tuned.